Clip-on night vision devices, often seen, rarely understood. In this video, we just want to do a quick run through on what makes a good clip-on host, how we set up our guns that we use with clip-ons, and uh, really dive into some nuance to make sure you guys can maximize your performance with your brand new clip-on device if that's something that you want to add to the toolbox. So here in front of us, we've got two completely different systems, but set up very similarly. Both are great clip-on hosts. We've got a Knight's Armament SR25 EMC, and one of our urban recce's that we build in-house. So let's dive into first what we look for when we're setting up a gun in general for magnified optics. So starting at the front, definitely a suppressor. It's 2022, get a suppressor. If you're shooting with night vision, you should be shooting suppressed as it is because night vision in general is to all about reducing signature and not adding to it. So suppressors, highly recommended if it's not something you have you should definitely be looking in to add that to your toolbox. Then moving back, a quality rail system. So when you add clip-ons or lasers in general, and you're mounting anything to your rail system, you wanna make sure it's a quality rail. If uh, you don't have a good quality rail, you could have some point of impact shift, you could have things move. Um, both of these rails are very, very sturdy. These are both Knight's Armament rails. Make sure you're mounting your, your clip-on or any laser device on a quality rail. So can, quality rail, Optics. Let's talk optics for a second. When you add a clip-on device to a night to a rifle setup and you're putting that in front of a magnified day scope, you're just adding layers of glass and different things that you're looking through to get your image at the end downrange, whatever it is you're looking through. So when you look at optics in general, you want to have a good quality optic. If you don't have good quality optic, you're not going to have good quality performance. If your glass is crappy during the day, then your glass is going to be crappy at night. So Adding night vision capability is great, but you've got to have good quality optic. These are both ZCOs, zero compromise optics, uh, four to twenties. These are great because the eye box is huge and the glass is super, super clear. These are our favorite optics that we use um, simply because we use a lot of our optics with clip-ons and that great quality glass sets us up just for success when using the clip-on device. Then uh, really outside of that, just a you know good quality weapon system. You don't want to add a, uh, a nice clip on and a nice uh, scope to something that really isn't capable during the day, but uh, that should be a given really if you're to the level where you're adding clip on devices, you probably already have a nice quality rifle set up. So we're not going to go into that too much as far as just the base rifle, but can quality rail, quality optic, and then um, really just positioning. So with these, with these guns, you can see that this is an 11 and a half inch barrel, but we still have plenty of room to be able to take this off and switch mounting right to the Urban Recce. So what that does is gives us still that rock solid lockup, just drag and drop, super easy. One thing to note, if we did not have the can on here, we would not be able to use this with this short of barrel because you really would not want the concussion um, coming out at the end of your muzzle to be hitting your clip on and all of that. So that's where a can is gonna increase capability on shorter setups, which we love this. The Urban Reckeys, we've been experimenting with these since we uh, really kind of developed the, the concept of 11 and a half inch mini Reckeys, but add that high magnification to uh, really go into that, that Urban Recce style of rifle and uh, clip ons. Super enjoyable and super capable to shoot with this setup. So. If you're going to want to try to mimic something like this and build yourself a, an urban recce or a mini recce or however you approach it with a shorter barrel, you will want a can because that's just going to give you one, reduce your signature, which is hugely beneficial, but it's also going to give you that extra clearance for blast mitigation so you're not just beaten up on the end of your clip on. Um, then you can go into lasers. So both of these uh, ZCOs are in a spur mount and what's really nice about the spur mount is you'll notice this uh, diving board setup up top where we've mounted this Wilcox Raid X and uh, that's something that it just bolts right into the top of the, the mount and so if you don't want it all the time if say you're in lighting conditions where you don't need the illuminator because these L3 CMB DLRs are so good a lot of times we aren't using illuminators and say you want to ditch this extra height off your setup that's just uh, two twists of uh, screws, remove that diving board and to be able to add that again. So that modularity is nice and uh, you're really not changing your zero or anything like that, but we recommend to mount your lasers either in one of two areas, depending on your application, what you're trying to accomplish with ergonomics and size constraints, either up top like this in a diving board setup or down on the uh, 
three o'clock or six o'clock portion of your rail, depending on how you're shooting and what makes more sense for you. Um, that's going to give you good clearance for your illuminator and um, also be something that is easy to build on on your uh, daytime daytime setup and not interfere with mounting your clip on in the 12 o'clock position, obviously. So really, that's just the kind of the down and dirty on what we're looking for when we set up a, a host for clip on night vision and some of the key things that you want to take into account when you're setting that up and um, maybe to refine your setup. So as always, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. We um, are going to be do, doing more on setups, different nuances of different night vision. So uh, watch out for more. See you out there.